In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the derivative of a rational function. So let's differentiate 1 over x. What is the derivative of 1 over x? Well, first, we need to rewrite the expression. So this is the same as x to the minus 1. And now we could use the power rule. And recall that the power rule, the derivative of x to the n, is n x raised to the n minus 1. So this is going to be n is negative 1 in this example. So it's going to be negative 1 times x raised to the negative 1 minus 1. And negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then you could rewrite it. Let's move the x back to the bottom. So the final answer is negative 1 over x squared. Now let's work on another example. So let's say if we want to find the derivative of 1 over x plus 5. So how is this problem different from the last one? It's actually very similar. So first, we need to rewrite the expression. I'm going to rewrite it as x plus 5 raised to the minus 1. But I'm going to use the power rule along with the chain rule. So first, let's use the power rule. Let's take the exponent and move it to the front. So it's going to be negative 1, and then keep the inside the same, and then subtract the exponent by 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then you're supposed to find the derivative of the inside. The derivative of x plus 5 is 1. And then if we simplify it, if we bring this back to the bottom, the final answer is going to be negative 1 over x plus 5 squared. Now let's work on some more examples. So what if we wanted to find the derivative of 1 over, let's say, 4x minus 7? Try that one. So following the same pattern, we're differentiating 4x minus 7 raised to the negative 1. So using the chain rule and the power rule, we're going to take the exponent, move it to the front, and then keep the inside expression, 4x minus 7, the same. Subtract the exponent by 1. So this is going to be negative 2. And then we need to find the derivative of the inside. The inside function is 4x minus 7. The derivative of 4x minus 7 is 4. And so it's going to be negative 4 divided by 4x minus 7 squared. And so that's the solution for that example. I'm going to give you a lot of practice problems in this uh, video so you can master this topic. Go ahead and find the derivative of 9 divided by x squared minus 6. So let's begin by rewriting the expression. So this is going to be 9, and let's move this to the top. So 9 times x squared minus 6 raised to the minus 1. So this is going to equal 9 times the derivative of that expression, so times negative 1, and then keep the inside function the same, and then subtract the exponent by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of any constant, such as negative 6, is 0. So now we're going to multiply negative 1 by 9, which is negative 9, times 2x, so that's going to be negative 18x. And then this is going to go in the denominator. So that's going to be x squared minus 6 and that squared. So that's how we could find the derivative of that example. Go ahead and try this. What is the derivative of 12 divided by 4 minus 8x but raised to the fourth power on the bottom? Go ahead and try that. So as always, we need to rewrite the expression. So this is 12 times 4 minus 8x raised to the negative fourth power. And now let's find the derivative. So we're going to take the negative 4 and move it to the front. So it's going to be 12 times negative 4. And then keep the inside function the same. And then subtract the exponent by 1. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. And then take the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 4 minus 8x is negative 8. 
and now let's multiply. So I'm going to use a calculator for this. 12 times negative 4 is negative 48, and negative 48 times negative 8, that's 384. So that's positive. And then it's going to be divided by 4 minus 8x raised to the fifth power. And that's the answer. What about this problem? What is the derivative of 5 minus 9x divided by x squared plus 4? So here we have another rational function. Go ahead and differentiate this expression. So we need to use the quotient rule because we have a variable in the numerator and a variable in the denominator, and we can't simplify this expression. So here's the quotient rule. The derivative of f divided by g is g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. Now, let's label what we know. f is 5 minus 9x, and g is x squared plus 4. So f prime, the derivative of f, that's going to be negative 9. And g prime, the derivative of g is 2x. So let's go ahead and apply this expression to the problem. So first, let's start with g. g is x squared plus 4. And then it's multiplied to f prime, which is negative 9, and then minus f, which is 5 minus 9x, times g prime, that's 2x, divided by g squared. And g is x squared plus 4, so let's square that expression. So we have the answer right now, but what we need to do is simplify what we have. Let's distribute and combine like terms. So let's distribute negative 9 to x squared plus 4. So x squared times negative 9, that's negative 9x squared. And 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. Now let's do the same with that expression. So 5 times 2x is 10x, but there's a negative sign. So that's going to be negative 10x. Negative 9x times 2x is negative 18x squared. But with a negative sign in front, that's going to be positive 18x squared. Now, the only thing that we can do now is add those two. So negative 9 plus 18 is 9. So we have 9x squared minus 10x minus 36 divided by x squared plus 4 squared. So I'm going to leave the answer like this. That's it. Let's try this example. 5 minus 2x over x plus 4 raised to the fifth power. Go ahead and find the derivative of that expression. So we have a quotient rule mixed with a chain rule type situation. So how can we do that? Well, first, let's apply the chain rule. So let's move the exponent to the front, keep the inside function the same, and then subtract the exponent by 1. And now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And that's when we need to use a quotient rule. So f is 5 minus 2x, which means f prime is negative 2. g is x plus 4, so g prime is the derivative of x, which is 1. And the formula is going to be g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. Let's see if I can fit that here. So g is x plus 4 times f prime, which is negative 2, minus f, that's 5 minus 2x. And thankfully, g prime is 1, so it's not going to change anything. And g squared, that's going to be x plus 4 squared. Now, Let's see if we could simplify the expression. Let's focus on combining like terms here, and then I can add everything else around it. So x plus 4 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 2x minus 8. 
and then distribute the negative sign to 5 and a negative 2x. That's going to be negative 5 plus 2x. Well, these two will cancel. And so we have negative 8 minus 5, which is negative 13. So right now I have 5 times 5 minus 2x over x plus 4 raised to the fourth power, and then times negative 13 over x plus 4 squared. So the first thing I can do is multiply 5 and negative 13. And I'm going to separate these two. I'm going to apply the 4 to the 5 minus 2x and the x plus 4. So it's going to be 5 minus 2x to the 4th power and divided by x plus 4 to the 4th power. 5 times negative 13, that's negative 65. Now the reason why I wanted to separate this 4 into two different fours is because these two are the same. I can multiply them together. And so the final answer, fully simplified, is negative 65 times 5 minus 2x raised to the fourth power divided by x plus 4. And 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's going to be to the sixth power. And this is it.